to the trousers that I'm sewing have to do with today's topic? Needles. So today we are talking Paleolithic fashion. A paper was recently published on the 28th of June called Paleolithic Eyed Needles and the Evolution of Dress. This is actually my hyperfixation for the moment, to be honest. So we see a trend across the world. We've got Siberia, 40,000 years ago, we see the advent of needles moving across to the Caucasus 38,000 years ago, Asia 30,000 years ago, and eventually to Europe 26,000 years ago. Now what research has essentially done recently is link the use of needles, a very fine, intricate tool to the development of clothing and personal adornment and the decoration of clothes, which is what I'm currently doing on these trousers. So let us get into it. Initially, people before the use of needles were using awls to sew bits of clothing together very rudimentarily. So research was like, if awls were already being used to tailor clothes, to sew basic bits of animal hide together and the like, why do we need to do the very labour intensive task of creating fine point needles? Finally got the bastard thing through the needle, that was thick anyway. Funnily enough, this brings me on to their first summarisation. Now, they deduced that as I I'm similar experiencing here. It is a bit of a pain in the ass to keep threading thread through the hole of a needle. It can be fiddly, it can be annoying, you can get stressed, you can get angry. So they thought maybe they invented an implement such as this to help bring the thread through the hole and make it easier to thread. Now, although they do have tools for that now, obviously, being somebody in the modern day who is currently struggling with this issue, I'm not sure how much I believe they would have gone to all this effort just to thread a bit of thread through a hole, but that's just me. However, of course, they've come up with some slightly more plausible ideas for the need to create these things. Seeing as the geographical locations in which needles have been found have generally been of a cooler temperature, especially in the Ice Age. And therefore it is likely that needles were used to create undergarments and multi layers of clothing so that people could further insulate themselves. Now needles could have been used to add on fur trim, which was very good for thermal purposes. And when I say underwear and layers, in this particular paper that I'm reading, they are talking about how, you know, if you put on a bit of a loose fitted jacket or a loose fitted coat, the wind still gets up there and you still feel chilly as you're walking through the breeze. Now, you get a needle and you sew these clothes together, fitted to your body, adding several layers, that problem is no more. And as a result, the needle was pivotal in the history of clothes. Now, considering that adding an extra layer can almost double the amount of insulation that you get from your clothing, I can understand why the need to be able to sew layered fit clothes may have been quite the advantage in this particular time. Additionally to that, we have my favourite thing, a combination of creativity and history. We've got the hypothesis of embellishing clothing. Now these things mostly consist of natural materials like shells and beads and fur trim and you never know, maybe a basic bit of rudimentary embroidery. Probably a better job than I can do. But as we don't really have any clothes from 40,000 years ago, because that would be quite a tall ask, we cannot tell for sure. The hypothesis for using this as clothing adornment instead of bodily adornment comes from the fact that we do have various archaeological remnants of bodily adornment. We've got use of ochre, we've got use of beads from around 140,000 years ago onwards. We have evidence of oath use and bodily adornment in other hominins such as Neanderthals, and we also have evidence, obviously it is a lot more, more recent, but we have evidence of tattooing from people like Ertzi and other such mummies. So due to the fact that clothing not only keeps us warm and therefore alive in cold climates, but can also show our individual expression, our culture, our place in our social hierarchies, these researchers have essentially said that needles have been somewhat pivotal in human evolution. And as a result, we would not be where we are today without them. 